YouTubers, future YouTubers. Why am I making this video? It's easy. I've been in the game for several years and every single month you learn more and more as a YouTuber. I highly encourage um, any driver, any food delivery driver to get into this space, right? This is not a space that just a few people can control. This is a space for every single gig worker that wants to get their formula, their recipe, their message, their story across, right? And as you grow it, and by the way, if you're creating a new YouTube channel, you hit me up. I always help uh, fellow YouTubers, newbies that just started out and make a video on them and give them a bit of a boost uh, with subscribers from my channel. Myself personally, I operate six YouTube channels. Three of those are monetized. One of those is the Ride Share uh, Professor channel with about 76,000 subscribers. In total, I have close on to 200,000 subscribers now when I take all six channels combined. I've pushed out to date 8,500 videos. Um, I'm not big into editing. Um, I'm into the content, right? There are far better YouTubers out there that have amazing design, thumbnail skills, editing skills. That's not me. I'm all about bringing you the story or bringing you the ways to treat this as a business. You have the exact same opportunity as I do. There's a lot of money to be made, my friends, as a YouTuber. And I would highly encourage any YouTuber that starts off to integrate all their links, monetize links, affiliate links. Maybe you do upside, right? Where you're promoting a gas app link and you sort of gather the rewards as you go, grow, as you go forward and add videos each and every week. You could have your links to your Lyft referrals or Uber referrals or DoorDash referrals. If you refer a driver and they hit the certain requirements, you get paid. Then on top of it, um, any of those gig companies when they see that you have a gig channel and you using descriptions or titles or keywords with Uber and Lyft, they start feeding ads. And guess what? As soon as you reach a few thousand subscribers, usually it's about 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watched hours, you'll get to the 4,000 watched hours far quicker than you're gonna get to the 1,000 subscribers, but then you get monetized. And companies will start running ads through your network. Today, um, I would say combined with my various channels, make about five to $6,000 on advertising revenue, meaning Google on the 21st sends me a check every single month. And as you grow the subscribers, the amount gets more and more and more. But more rewarding than the payment that you can receive from Google as a YouTuber, are the contacts, the friendships that you form, the opportunities. Uh, you can direct a lot of that traffic into your own company. You might have a private limo company on the side like I do. You might uh, rent out vehicles in a fleet like I do. You can funnel that traffic in. I can get drivers, any person I want through my channel into my respective businesses, right? I also um, have several paralegals working for me uh, under gig rocket and under activation hero and they help drivers get reactivated from wrongful deactivation so a lot of that traffic um, i can funnel into those services and actually help drivers i can call on protests or rallies and advocate for drivers and use that traffic in that positive sense i can funnel the traffic into my courses do you want to be a private chauffeur all of that is on gig rocket so what you will learn as a youtuber as you grow your audience as you get more uh, viewers as you get more hours clocked as you reach that point of monetization you can then integrate all your verticals all your money making verticals um, a, 
around the arena of courses and traffic and marketing. I've grown this into about a half a million dollar business and make way more than that per year on my fleet. So it's over a million dollar business at the moment. And um, I have the courses uh, uh, to show you, to prove it. I have the traffic, the subscribers to show you, to prove it. I have the videos in numbers to prove that I've made over 8,500 videos. And once upon a time before 2019 was actually called the referral king, making a few hundred thousand dollars a year on referrals from Uber and Lyft. So don't tell me ever that you cannot turn this into a massive business. I don't want you to be stuck in UberX or Excel and getting frustrated and upset and, and having so much anxiety and your health going down the tubes, right? Step out of the box, my friends. Think outside of the box. Create your YouTube channel. Become a YouTuber and integrate all your verticals. And you can always leave in the bottom of the message box in the comments and say, hey, right here, professor, I need a little help. Can you explain this? Right here, professor, I want to I want to start a channel. Um, can you give me a bit of a boost? And I guess my best recommendation to you, and I just learned this, and this is really one of the reasons why I made this video, because I saw that Pedro DoorDash San Diego got deactivated. Has the same amount of subscribers as I have, exactly the same, in his channel, right? You can look, it's probably around 75 to 80,000 subscribers. He gets deactivated. The problem there is, he boxed himself in to one identity DoorDash. All of his videos are just DoorDash, 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 DoorDash. If I can give you some advice, and I'm glad that from the very beginning, um, I cast a very wide net, right? Because when you think about the gig world, you have Amazon Flex, you have Uber, you have Lyft, you have DoorDash, you have Bolt, you have Ola, you have Uber Eats, you have Postmates, you have Grubhub. Right? There are so many different type of videos that you can make. There are so many different types of services that you can sign up for. There are so many different type of income streams that you can talk about, which broadens your audience. So if you're boxing yourself into one category, you know, if you call yourself the Uber King or the Lyft King or the, 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 the DoorDash Pro, whatever you call it, if you're boxing yourself in, think big, cast a wide net, use words such as you know gig world or gig help or gig pro you know cast a very wide net and i say this um because i've just watched channels um actually changing their identities as they go along changing their names which means you have to go through a whole new rebrand look at jeff right um jeff um uh, i think he was called jeep arizona and then called himself mic drop uh, and, and, and cast a wider net. Also getting into private rides and, and, and being able to tap into multiple categories, driving on multiple platforms, making multiple videos. So you, you, you sometimes have to reinvent yourself as a YouTuber as you go along. Things change, your view changes, you know. Um, you look at Uber and Lyft and these companies on how they're paying you these days. You, you used to speak way more fond and, and glorify these companies years ago. Uh, today, don't be shy to attack the companies and, and, and speak your mind. People respect that if you speak your mind. People respect that if you give them solid help and show them how they can increase their bottom line. Show them, hold them by the hand and show them how they can run this as a business. So I hope to see more more and more gig workers, more and more drivers, more and more food delivery drivers step into the arena, sign up for multiple accounts, get multiple um, affiliate links going. You could even set up an affiliate link with Amazon and recommend products and you get paid by Amazon in credit. So there's so many ways to slice and dice this. Another big, big component of YouTube. And this is where I will compare income any day with any of the YouTubers. How do you deal with sponsors or companies that come to me every single day? Hey, I have this product. I want you to promote it through. So you have to quickly um, determine, does that product speak to me? Will that product speak to my audience? Is this a perfect fit? 
Do I have to say no? Is there a maybe a maybe? If there's a maybe, don't do it. But if it's a product or a service or an insurance, I'll be doing a lot of videos now about a new insurance that I firmly believe in. Um, sadly, Buckle went out of business, but I'll be promoting another big insurance company shortly. And But you have to have those contracts ready. You have to have legal agreements ready for those companies. Sometimes they send you their agreement. Um, in the beginning, if they're willing to send you products or giveaways, uh, you know, you, you can't you, you you can't make big demands in the beginning. But once you have the traffic, once you have the subscribers, you can start demanding more. My package prices to advertise through my channel increase as my subscribers increase. I have the contracts ready to go. Sometimes they send me the contracts. I'll look it over. If it makes sense for both of us, if you can create win-win situations as a YouTuber, you do the contract. You sign off. You get the monies or you get the products or you get giveaways. I mean, you can make... Um, last week, I, sound, I signed $15,000 in sponsorship deals. That was in one week. Now, yeah, I, I have work to perform. I, I've got to do the videos. I've got to do the work. I've got to embed uh, their links in all of my videos. But if you have a little bit of a team um, that I've you know, grown into, I have now six people and four paralegals working for me, you can do things, right? But if you hit a road bump, whether it's sponsorships or you approached by a sponsor and you don't really know how to handle it, run it by me. I can always help. I can always look at the contract and always jump on the phone with you. This is great additional revenue for you as a gig worker. So I highly, again, highly, highly encourage, motivate and will support and help Anybody that wants to start a YouTube channel, you'll be calling yourself a YouTuber. It is wonderful to, you know, be around the roads of LA or LAX and, and meet people that, that see you, that recognize you. Hey, right here, Professor, how are you doing? Can we take a selfie? I always buy drinks. I always buy coffees. I always buy confectionery or in and out for the drivers that I meet because it's an opportunity to get to know them. It's, op it's an opportunity to learn. It's an opportunity maybe to make another video. It, it, whether it's a taxi driver, a shuttle driver, I've had police stopping me in the road saying, hey, I watch your video. So it's very, very rewarding, my friends, especially the friendships uh, that you develop through your channel. If I fly to Arizona, if I fly to uh, Vegas, I will meet with fellow drivers. I'll go up to support protests in San Francisco or Sacramento, I meet with the drivers. So all of these opportunities will come your way. And um, some of the magic milestones are 5,000 subscribers. Another big milestone is 10,000 subscribers. Another big milestone is 25,000 subscribers. Another big milestone is 50,000. Another big one is 75,000. A really, really big one um, is 100,000. You know, if you look at Harry the Raichi guy who's been in the game much longer than I have, He's up to 170,000 subscribers and has many good contributors talking uh, in his channel, making videos like Show Me The Money with Sergio and Chris. So the world's your oyster. There are no boundaries in this game. Um, if you want some help, reach out, you know, put your comment below. But advertising revenue, affiliate links, marketing and sponsorship deals your own products and services, your own courses, um, your own fleet. There's no end. There's no limit. And I'm specifically now just talking about the gig world, right? You might be a realtor. You might be a broker and start a channel and promote houses or open houses. Wherever this takes you, I'm specifically giving you the example of the gig world. Create your keyword portfolios. Keywords are important. They bring the traffic, right? Big keywords like Uber driver, Lyft driver, etc., etc. These are all great keywords that will attract additional traffic. You can schedule your videos future dates. You can make them now and have them appear later. You can do YouTube shorts, which bring a lot of quick traffic, right? They're trying to compete with Instagram. And, and other channels. So YouTube shorts are great if you want to get a lot of viewers and a lot of subscribers quickly. You might want to do a lot of 
you know, 15 to 60 second videos. Um, again, it's an exciting, exciting business with the opportunity of building multiple revenue streams. I think I've honestly perfected this. I don't know what there's, what, what other additional businesses I could integrate. I've tried to integrate anything and everything that makes good money when it comes to the gig world. And, uh, you know, even traveling abroad when I was in England and, and Germany and, and, and Portugal and meeting, um, meeting with people, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing who you meet out there, what stories you uh, hear, what feedback you get, um, people share with you, uh, you get to read their daily comments. Um, this is how you stay on top of it. This is how you, what we call like you dialed in right to that community. So take care, my friends, if you need any help, give me a shout. I'm right here.